I was inspired to make this video. Well, first and foremost, yesterday my friend said that he liked one of my videos on Facebook and he said that I spit the truth. <clears throat> I rewatched this video since I didn't check it upon making it and this was September 9, 2011. I never uploaded this video on YouTube because it was a direct to webcam video on Facebook. And maybe I'll find a way to upload it here. But it was without a doubt the greatest Mr. Wonka 7 video of 2011. At least in my opinion. Some of the shit I said was spitting the truth so hard that in a time when I was just trying to prove some concepts of anarchism and trying to essentially get into philosophical dialectics I didn't see happen around the anti-statist world at the time. So a lot of it was like micro philosophy trying to break and analyze ideas down but videos like this or the ones I really like and to this day these are the kind of shits that I actually fucking like. And a lot of people don't notice this but any video where I'm actually even some of the political videos around late 2011 those are passive aggressive insults I was making towards some of my ex-girlfriends at the time <sighs> And you wouldn't realize this because a lot of people look at the surface message and they don't really look at the subconscious of the writing. And most philosophers are like this. They stick to philosophy, not psychology. They don't try to do both. I usually do both, but that's not really because I'm great at both, but because I'm mediocre at both, so I combine them together in a way. It's like language, psychology, philosophy shit. And I'm sure it's what a lot of you do too. And you just don't realize it. So, at the time, I was really pissed off because I was going in and out of shitty relationships. And I just didn't want any more of that shit. So, here I am making this video September 9th, 2012. Well, not 2012, 2011. Where I'm basically saying... Don't start fights with people on Facebook. Just unfriend them. Get rid of people from your life. Don't don't get into conflict. Just remove them from your life. Which, and I hate using this word, but it's ironic because it works because I'm being passive aggressive then when I'm saying it. In some ways, even though I was being very passive aggressive when I said that, I pushed it to new heights, new levels, which isn't really common for passive aggressive people where I'm like daring people to do things and showing that hey okay I'm avoiding these people but that's just because I can do that I can afford to do that so I was like I was being a lot of people say that I'm an asshole now I don't think if you think that then you just don't get it period cuz that shit back then that was real asshole stuff. Are you kidding me? Lashing out on the internet where no none of them can see you, and if they do see you, then they can feel it in an ambiguous manner. That's fuck. That's a girly thing to do. That's a girly thing. To do. That's not masculine. That's not real. That's bitch talk. But a lot of that bitch talk somehow led to the creation of real talk for me. Because when I s look at things from a bitchy perspective, I'll catch an angle, a side of some realness, and that always helps. <sighs> so, that was probably the greatest video of 2011, hands down. However, it's just evidence of kind of what bullshit I used to put myself and other people through with my actions. Led to great videos, but sometimes those great videos, there's more to meet the eye in a way. 
Where now I'm just like seeing what the fuck I think and it's all good in the hood.